Uh-oh, setting up programs. All right, so if you're a beginner, this video is for you. These are two very simple ways to set up programming if you don't have a coach and you just wanna get started in wind training. What's up everyone, I'm Jesse Rizzeri here at JDI Barbell in New York, New York. Um, and I'm gonna talk to you today about programming if you're a beginner, okay? This is a big passion of mine and what we do here at JDI is that we have a lot of beginners that come here, right? And I, I help them with their programs, but I also help them understand exactly why they need a program and what exactly is happening, okay? So I'm gonna go over two very simple ways to start programming for yourself if you're a beginner and you don't have a coach. So the first thing that you can do is a very simple wave, okay? So what that means is that we're gonna use the example of a squat, right? Say that I know that I can do 135 pounds on my squat for five reps and I can do at least three sets of five very comfortably. It's challenging, right? But I don't feel completely gassed at the end of it. I don't feel like it's killing me, okay? And I, I can do it with proper technique, okay? So I would do this on week one, all right? So this is week one. We're gonna have weeks on the left here and weight on the right, okay? So on week one, I'm doing 135 pounds for five, five reps, okay? Again, whether it's three sets of five, four sets of five, right now it's not relevant as long as I'm keeping it consistent all, all, all the way down, okay? So week two, I would go up about five pounds, okay? Maybe you have to take a bit less of a jump, okay? But if you're a beginner, generally you can take five pound jumps like this each week as long as you make sure that on that first week you're not overreaching too much, okay? So week two, I went up for 140 pounds for a, for set, sets of five, okay? Week three, I do another five pound jump. 145 pounds for sets of five. Week four, I do another 150 pounds for sets of five, okay? Now, this looks great, and what people will continue doing is that they'll continue adding weight on and on and on. But the problem is that, that your body's not a machine, okay? And it doesn't work like that. Eventually, you're gonna hit a wall, okay? So the best route is to instead wave back down to give yourself a chance to adapt to all this stress, get better at doing all of these weights, and then go heavier again, all right? So instead of going another five pounds for week five, what I would do is on week five, I would then go back down to what I did on week two. So now I would go back down to doing 140 pounds again for sets of five. Week six, I would go back up again, 145 pounds for sets of five. Week seven, I'm going back to 150 pounds for sets of five. And then week eight, okay, and you can see the whole pattern here, right? Every four weeks, I'm gonna hit my heavier sets. Now I can go up to 155 pounds for sets of five, right, okay? So it took me a whole nother four weeks to hit that heavier set again, okay? Those heavier weights, but in that time, I'm still getting stronger, I'm still building a bigger base, right? And I'm letting myself I'm, I'm giving myself a chance to adapt and to actually grow stronger. And if you're a beginner, you can keep following the same kind of guideline, the same wave over and over again for a very long time. All right, so my second very simple way to program for yourself if you're a beginner is doing bi-weekly heavy sets and then uh, in between those bi-weekly heavy sets, doing percentages based off that. I'll show you exactly what I mean, all right? So this is for a beginner who's gone through like a introductory period where they've done like wave loading, like I just talked about, right? Um, and they have a general idea of how to work up to a heavy set, okay? So in this model, what I would do is on week one, okay, I would work up to a heavy set of five, okay? Or, you know, if, if I wanna go a bit heavier, I can do a heavy set of three or something like that, okay? But I do heavy set of five reps, okay? All right, and I'll use my same example of a squat, okay? I'm doing a barbell back squat, I work up to a heavy set, I take about four sets or so, building on that weight every time, and then I reach my heavy set, okay? Cool, I write that down, I move on, okay? Week two, what I would do then, is I would take a percentage 
of this weight, okay? So say I did 165 pounds for my heavy set of five, okay? Then what I would do is I would take 85% of 165 pounds and then I would do volume based off of that, okay? So say I did, say this week one day, I just did four sets of five, okay? I took four sets to work up to my heavy set of five reps, okay? So that's 20 reps right there, okay? Week two is my volume week, all right? Based off of that heavy set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do more sets, okay? with a percentage of that heavy weight, all right? So instead of just doing four sets of five, now I'm gonna do something like five sets of five, okay? At 85% of 165, okay? So the weight that I use is going to be less, obviously, because this is my max, hypothetically, okay? My five rep max, but it's still something that I can doably do, if that makes sense, okay? Because I am taking a low enough Percentage. I'm taking enough weight off the bar to do all five sets of five, okay? Then the following week, I will do another heavy set, okay? So I work up to another heavy set of five, okay? All right, and now this time I get something like, say I make a huge jump, and I do 180 pounds for sets of five, okay? That's my heavy set, right? Now in week four, I will do the same thing. I would take... 80 to 85 percent. The only reason I say 80 to 85 now is because this is a heavier weight, okay? So doing a bunch of reps at 85 percent of that heavy weight when you make such a big jump is, go is gonna be a bit harder, right? So give yourself a fighting chance to make sure that you get all those reps in and get them done well, okay? So now I do my five sets of five, again, off of my, my 80 to 85 percent of 180. All right, so if you found that helpful, you can um, subscribe to our channel or follow us on in Instagram um, and go to our website, www.jdibarbell.com. Uh, we're gonna be putting up new programs for beginners up there soon that um, you can grab whether you live in New York or not. Um, so do all that, like, subscribe, and share this, and uh, do it right now.